Hey everyone, so here's an unboxing from PuzzleSupply.net of another Aulong GT. Alright, so if you haven't yet heard of PuzzleSupply.net, they are a new keeping store located in the US, and this package took only 3 days to arrive to me. And so, getting into it, in here we have the Aulong GT. But I decided to get this one in pink because from videos that I've seen, the new colored Moe cubes seem to perform a little bit better than the typical black and white cubes. And so I was just curious to see if this was actually true. It just sounds like it uses a softer plastic. It doesn't sound as crispy. But this pink is actually a little bit whiter than I would like it to be. It doesn't have a very vibrant pink. Yeah, it, so it can very easily be mistaken for white, but we'll just do some turns. Yeah, it turns like a typical Allen GT. Very smooth, but I'm not really sure if it's a placebo effect. It does seem to turn a little bit better than my black one. It has a softer feeling to it. And my black one here, yeah, you can hear it's kind of crispy. And it does feel like it uses a bit of a harder plastic, but, you know, I'm not really sure if Moyu maybe changed the plastic, or maybe it's just the dye of the plastic that affects the turning. But it has a really nice flow than it did with the black one out of the box. And this has a really pleasant, sandy, soft feeling to it. And so we'll just check out the corner cutting here. 45, which is pretty typical, and it is pretty loose. And reverse is line to line. But you know, overall the feeling right now is pretty impressive. Alright, and so that's pretty much it for this unboxing. But in regards to this pink Aulong GT, I'll definitely be using it to add another video to my Color Wars series in which I compare it to a black one and just see if the performances differentiate. But I'll leave a link to PuzzleSupplies.net store in the description, which I totally think you guys should check out. And also let me know what you think of my new intro. It was made by 2x2Cuber, and I just think it looks really, really awesome. So thank you so much, Tim, for making it. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this unboxing. Again, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one.